my my glue solution. Okay. okay, we have two different solutions of glue. One of them is a, a thick, viscous solution, and the second one is a very thin solution. The first thick solution goes on the wall, and uh, we rely on that to, to really get good adhesion against the paint. The thinner solution we use for coating the cloth so that um, the cloth actually gets saturated when we go to put it on. And between the two of them, we, we're getting good results. So, I have another roller pan down there too, mm -hmm. but that's good. Okay, we're going to mostly be using rollers to get this stuff off. What we have right here is, you can see the line, there was track lighting up here, so we're, we're, uh, we're just now getting access to this because they just took it down. So what we're going to do is, we're going to coat this with glue. We're using uh, a cotton cloth in lengths that are about 36 inches, and uh, we'll coat this with glue. At the same time, Esther is going to be coating the cloth with a thinner solution of glue. Then we put it up, we skew it off, get it as smooth to the surface as we can, and uh, move on to the next section. So. Is that the thinner one? No, it's the thinner. Sections, thicker. Now we have a few areas where we've already had some pull off. And what we have right here is actually an area where we have exposed decoration. We have it here and here and then right here at the juncture where we've removed paint too. I've coated these areas with uh, an, um, just a paraffin wax. What the paraffin wax does is it acts as a resist. So when we go to actually pull this off, we're not going to pull off this paint. It's going to release right at that paraffin wax layer. So basically we're replicating the, the varnish layer on here so that we have a release point. How are we doing? Okay. kind of messy. It's, it's a little bit like wallpapering. All right. Are we long enough? Yeah, here, let me move the table down a little bit. Okay. Fairly messy job. You ready on that side? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, let's pull that a little tighter. Yeah, good. What I'm leaving, I'm trying to leave a little, a little bit of this exposed on the end so we can peel it up when we go to pull it off so we can get a good hold on it and get a good tear. Let me do one more pull. How are we doing? Yeah. All right. Are you running again or? Uh, not yet. Okay. Give me about two minutes here. Probably going to take it from you and do this side too. Okay. All right. What uh, the process is actually one that's that's been around for a while. They started using it in uh, Italy. It's called strappo, but it was used on uh, on frescoes. And it, the, in Italy, the tendency is for them to, to when they build frescoes 
they do them one layer on top of another layer on top of another layer and what you have is you actually have different layers of colored plaster and there because each of those layers was considered really significant they would they wanted to save each of the layers so they started using a process like this where they